Hello, how's it going? So this week's topic was um, marijuana with patients who are coming to see us from physical therapy. And basically what it was, was we were given a case scenario with an 18 year old male who was coming into the clinic and he had bloodshot eyes and they were, were supposed to be doing some type of agility training and strength training with them. And the patient was slow to respond to questions, had difficulty remembering instructions for exercises, and we just noticed it was kind of out of character. So before we get on that topic, um, this is a really important topic um, for the clinic clinical aspect of patient care, and this is just due in part with it's going to become more and more prevalent as we move throughout um, the coming years because as more and more states legalize um, medical marijuana, and regular recreational mar marijuana, we are definitely going to be seeing these patients come into the clinic and they might be using it for pain management or they might be um, using it just because they like the effects it does on their body. More importantly, the psychological aspects it does for them. Uh, nonetheless though, um, these patients need to be treated the same. So. Um, I feel like, so the questions that we had was, would we continue the physical therapy interventions, um, or would we choose to stop? Would we have the same reaction if it was medical marijuana compared to recreational? And then what would we do if they drove to the clinic and they were feeling this way? So first and foremost, um... Um, it's important to realize the effects that mar marijuana has on the brain. It it does a lot of things for it, and I don't know if patients know this, but it also does stuff cardiovascular-wise, and, and they need to be monitored more closely when performing exercises, especially from us, because we might not know how their body reacts to it, as well as they might not know how their body reacts to it whenever it gets on that cellular level to where it could put them at an increased risk for a, um, an adverse reaction to it or the exercise, as well as um, safety. But I kind of took the stance of um, I wouldn't change much. I would just monitor them more closely. And the only thing my response to them would change if it was a person using it for recreation and then a person using it for medical, I would not provide resources for the patient that received it medically because they've already been cleared by a medical doctor. That would be just stepping on my toes and, or not my toes, the doctor's toes. Like it, it just, I, I would bring something up maybe like I noticed like a couple symptoms are having, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't like go into all the readings and pamphlets because the doctor who has assigned them that has um, outrate the risk and benefits for it and they think it's appropriate for that patient so I'm not going to step on their toes and I kind of find it found it interesting um, one of my classmates um, kind of kind of um, kind of felt the same way but a little bit different. They would kind of like talk to them about it, but they would be presenting to them um, other modalities to treat the pain, such as like tins, um, and then tell them like it it this this stuff doesn't um, this stuff doesn't give you the side effects that um, the medical marijuana does. And I completely agree, patient education on what other options there are out there, but I wouldn't really talk more or less about the um, marijuana itself because I, I'm not a professional in that. And um, um, one, one thing I had from this realization from this week's topics is the actual side effects from it. I really didn't know that, like I knew like, it, it altered your brain and stuff, but I didn't really understand the cardiovascular point of it and about how it could make, um, and about how it could, um, change it and like labored breathing and stuff like that. So like, this is one thing I am going to look out for just because we had this topic this week. And I think that that important, that piece is important because there, we do see a lot of patients that aren't like the best cardiovascular wise.